Haley, you get up. You're making me get up, aren't you? Uh, but Haley, just roll me a d20. Oh, no. Just tell me what the number says. Roll a 42. Nine! It's not a 42. Half of the kobolds get up and start screaming danger. <laughs> and it's just causing havoc. They're going, ah! And it's like they're getting up and running around, which causes the rest of them to get up and freak out. Um, they all start like, you know how ants make a spiral? Because they're all just following one another, but at one point the one just follows the tail end. They're all just running one giant circle within the wagon wheel right now, <laughs> screaming. You can't hear anything except cobalt yells. So who would like to do Let's kill you, kill you, the shadow. We, uh, uh, we got going and we killed some bears, orphaned some cubs. There was hmm. a mysterious bard lady. Do you remember the bard lady's name? I wrote it down. Let me find my notes. Sticks. Nice. Sticks the halfling look. bard. Yep. Didn't even have to look at my notes. <laughs> it's just like a halfling name too. I love it. <laughs> um, and after that all happens, and then... We continue along. And we, you said we went like a day and a half? You have traveled so far a day and a half. <clears throat> out of your 12 days. And as we stop to camp for the night, everything is super quiet. Like abnormally quiet. And Eben on his turtle skin gets boost bump, boost bumps, goosebumps. 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 And he goes, oh shit. And that was where we ended. Did I go, oh shit? Brian said you go, oh shit. Oh. I don't think that uh, you can rephrase Dunnan right. would actually say oh shit. <laughs> so, Dunnan, you get boost bumps on you all over. <laughs> boost bumps. Yes. Why? There is danger. That's what he would say. Hi, Smitten. There is danger. What kind of danger? Sound the alarm. Something comes. What is it? I don't know. I just sense it. Ah. Danger! You're making me get up, aren't you? Uh, but Haley, just roll me a d20. Oh, no. Just tell me what the number says. Roll a 42. Nine! It's not a 42. Half of the kobolds get up and start screaming danger. <laughs> and it's just causing havoc. They're going, ah! and it's like They're getting up and running around, which causes the rest of them to get up and freak out. Um, they all start like... You know how ants make a spiral? Because they're all just following one another, but at one point the one just follows the tail end. They're all just running one giant circle within the wagon wheel right now, <laughs> screaming. You can't hear anything except cobalt yells. What the no. uh, There is a screaming circle of cobalts running around inside the wagon uh, circle. About five And that begs the question screaming. why? Evan said to sound the alarm. Dunnan said to sound the alarm. Dunnan said to sound the alarm. <laughs> Dunnan, why? There's something coming. Ah! 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 Unfortunate. Stop. Sorry. So, so, do I need to make a perception roll? Um... Uh -huh. Or does my passive perception cover it? What kind of perception are you trying to do? Are you trying to listen? Because you're not going to hear shit. <laughs> no, I'm looking around now that I sense something is coming. Uh, sure, give me a perception or investigation. 
Okay. Look at that, 13. All I needed to do was have a plus six to the roll to get that number. <laughs> oh boy. Um, from the giant bonfire just lighting up all the wagons, you can't see much past from the wagons onto the tree line. Mm. Uh, you do see some of the treetops, like in the moonlit sky, like kind of waver a bit, but they seem to be moving away. Is it something big as Like away that? from us? Oh. Those trees are not swaying the way they should be. No, they're not. Suspicious trees. <laughs> Sus. <laughs> Maybe some, something that flies. Or it's just something really fucking big. <clears throat> Alright. Carnes, you might want to tell your kobolds to get their weapons ready. WEAPONS RIGHT AT THE READY! Um, roll me. <laughs> Persuasion. <laughs> Just so that it's like some can hear you. Because mm. they're all screaming. Saying, warning, warning, danger, danger. <laughs> uh, Go take this to the right one. <laughs> danger! Danger! Persuasion? Yeah. Oh, boy. Helps if I have the ch <laughs> window open. 16. Okay. So. Most of them start just make, booking it towards the wagons. They just dive in and start grabbing whatever tools they can. Mostly pickaxes, some uh, strange shovels. But every now and then they do have an actual weapon from probably something that they killed and took over. But they're hopping on top of the wagons like battle ready in like clumps of like 10 cobalt Z's just everywhere. I would like to quickly run into a wagon and find a helmet and stick it on Hootie. Okay. <laughs> um, give me an investigation for to find a helmet. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna run in. You're able to find like a a nice like cowl that you can put on Hootie. Okay, I, I I find Hootie and I stick it on his head. Nice. So he's extra safe. It kind of goes down a little past his eyes. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Now you can be safer. You just see a helmet turning around and then like completely around and then back. I adjust it so it like sits more on, better on his head. Um, Evan, you mm. now that's quieted down. You can hear branches breaking in the distance, and then they're getting quieter. Do I hear any sort of like thumping or, or anything else? Uh, there is some thumping, but it does sound like it's going away too. Wait, it's moving away from us? It's moving away from me. Perhaps all of the screaming kobolds might be intimidated <laughs> to go Fair away. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> um. I point out the sound to the party and saying, like, mayhaps the kobold screams were a mixed out. blessing. Oh, that works. In any case, we should likely set up a small watch in case it comes back. <laughs> How many kobolds do you want for your watch? They can help. Not many. Okay. It's just. Yeah, just the purpose of it is is if we, we see something that's dangerous to run back and rouse the others. So it doesn't need to be a large party. Keep in mind, you anything, have fifty wagons in a circle, so it's a pretty large radius. Yeah. yeah. So if you if you have at least one kobold from every wagon, fan out a little. Okay. And then put them on a. <clears throat> Eight-hour watch. 
I'm almost got to sleep too. <laughs> I might not be able to stay up for a full eight hours. One of them comes up to you and goes, We take micro naps. Okay. I need. <laughs> hey, what's your name? What? What's your name? Scree. 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 Yes. Okay. I need you to get Four one hours later. <laughs> from every cart. Okay. To help keep watch. I will help too. Okay. Okay. Can we do that now? Yeah. Um, do I have to do it? Or can I get someone else to do it? Um, you have to do it. <laughs> uh. You can get someone to help you. Okay. I'll help too. There's a lot of cards. Scree looks up at Damien and goes, You want to help? <laughs> uh. He kind of like reaches up for your hand. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's go. And he kind of like leads you off like a toddler <laughs> showing you things. Okay, you do the talking. I'm bored. Alright, sure. <laughs> I just start knocking on the different wagons. <laughs> what up? Like a small portal opens and goes, What do you want? I just put the uh, the cobalt on my shoulder so he can talk. No, I'm face. <laughs> you do talking. Me know words good. Try. Uh... My God. <laughs> okay, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> kind of listens to you and goes, "I'm shy." <laughs> okay. What do I say? Okay, I'm fine, fine. We need a person from your wagon to go out and to kind of fan out from your area and stay there for about eight hours as a guard. And you need to, can you pass the message along to the next wagon? Oh, sure. That's easy. Um, who do we report to, or do we just make loud noises? Mm -hmm. Do we tell anybody if we say anything, or do we just make loud noises? Um, I would say send someone. Making loud noises may not actually help. I can do both. If you hear something or see something. What if I just run screaming? That might make it go after you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll send someone else screaming. No screaming. Okay, fine. Screaming is not going to help us. I go tell the next wagon, and they tell next wagon, and then they tell next yeah. wagon. And he's going to yes. repeat that for 48 more times. You don't need to repeat it, but yes. <laughs> that is exactly what you need to do. Okay. Um, thank you. Sure. And then he just slowly, <laughs> slowly closes the portcullis. Or the window. Portcullis, what the fuck? <laughs> This is literally goes to the window on you in case you're trying to say something else. It's like, okay, bye. <laughs> and then you hear latch. Anybody else doing anything? Nope. Um, Trinus is helping spread the word. Okay. I am getting rest since I uh, went pretty hard for most of the day. Okay. Um, Carnage, you feel like you start at the back of the wagon. At some point, you start hearing the word that kobolds need to, a couple kobolds from each wagon need to be on guard and to scream if they need help. <clears throat> Sounds alright. Okay. <laughs> Satisfied with the answer, you head back to your <laughs> resting place. Are you guys going to post guard, or is it just going to rely on the kobolds? Hello? I'm Hello? sorry? What? Are you guys going to rely on the kobolds for guard watch, or is someone going to watch as well? 
I said I was going to sleep. So. Yeah, I think. I did say he was going to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I don't. Carnus will also stay up and help keep watch. Okay. Cause they are his kobolds. Okay. Uh, Carnus, give me a just a perception roll for the night. Fourteen. Uh, through the night, you see a couple of neat bugs that you haven't seen before. They're pretty neat. Uh, but nothing dangerous, you can tell. At one point, you saw a very long rabbit. You thought that was weird, but then you just uncrossed your eyes and it was a regular rabbit. At one point, you do hear, Wah! I go over to the, Wah! Just like run along the top of the wagons. Yeah. King Alba. What? I saw something. There. I look where he points. Uh, give me a perception. You know I'm looking where he's pointing. <coughs> uh, you see some kind of shape in the bushes. Oh. Can I tell how big is it? Bit, bit. Um, size? It's about four feet. Four feet. So a little larger than you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I quietly, with a kobold, uh, the one that initially saw it, and I tell him to be quiet, sneak over to it to try to get a better look. Give me a stealth roll. Fourteen. Oh, we lost seven. No. I might get the part. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Okay. I'm not. So, how close do you want to get? Um. Maybe. How far away from it am I right now? About twenty feet. Twenty feet. Um, maybe ten. Okay. Ten feet closer, the shape seems a little bigger, perspectively, and it's not moving. It's not moving? No. <clears throat> um, I'd like to go, like, five feet closer. Okay. You go a little bit closer, and you see a uh, pale-skinned hand, okay. kind of, like, laying in the bush. Okay. Um... I go back and grab Damien and wake up Damien. Okay. And I, I take my my kobold friend with me. Okay. Okay. Damien. What? I think I found a dead body. You found a what? A dead body. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm awake. Let's show me. Okay. I take I take Damien. Okay. So. About 20 or so wagons down, you come up across the bush with a, a, a body inside of it. It's about four feet tall, humanoid, pale skin, a nice dress. She looks familiar. Oh no. Is that... Is that the music lady? I, it is. You guys find the body of Styx. Lane, just at 70 feet outside the circle of the wagons. What the fuck? Um. I, uh, I poke it to make sure it's dead. It's, if it's really dead. Curtis! What? <laughs> Oh, do that. <laughs> I wanted to be sure. She's dead. <clears throat> Wait, what do you there mean? There are better ways to look besides poking her body. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think, Yeller? I don't know. Um, would a medicine check be able to tell us anything? Yeah. 
Let's see. Let's see. Because I do want to find out what killed this girl. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna figure it out. Curtis, you wanna make one too? Yeah. Yep, that's a body. Plus zero. Better than ever. Fifteen! Uh, Damien, as you look over the body, it just looks... She might be sleeping. You don't see the chest rising at all, but... She might be sleeping. Cool. Halflings are tricky. I dropped that dice somewhere. I don't know why. Uh, Carnage, you come over. You check the pulse. None. You're kind of moving it around to look for any kind of wounds. You do manage to see puncture holes in the side of the neck. <gasps> Damien! What? It's a vampire! What? What are you talking about? Look! I pointed point the puncture holes. Well, that's, um... That's something, for sure. We need to stab her in the heart! No. I, I, I pull out, uh... Something. <laughs> I was like, do you even really have a stick? No, but I have a scorpion on a stick! You just stab with a stick? That's kind yeah. of the same thing. It's pretty much. I, I pull I out... Like, I, I do have a stick! <laughs> I pull out the scorpion on a stick and uh, stab her in the heart uh, with the wood end of the scorpion on the stick. Yeah, give me an attack a little bit of advantage. Because the dead body. Oh, okay. So, 20. Yeah, he'll be able to plunge right into where the heart should be. And oh, you do hear as you, as you feel that like when you reach the heart... There's immediate breath in the body <clears throat> and reaches out to you as it just kind of falls down and then just becomes ashy and kind of lifts away at the end of the Avengers style. Or Buffy the Vampire Slayer style. I haven't seen that. The, the vampires burst into dust. Okay. It's a thing. It bursts in the right. dust, leaving nothing but the uh, nice dress. Uh, I, I, I collect the dress. <laughs> Fill it of. Dead halfling ash. I, I dust it off. <laughs> dust it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, you have a very fancy I'm dress now. Yes. I don't put it on. Yeah. I'm going to gift it to another kobold. Okay. I'm, I'm currently wearing the jacket and the... What else did I grab? There was a jacket and something else I grabbed last time that I put on. Okay. That I'm currently wearing. What are you doing there? Good thing! Ah, uh, we we got that. That that's mm -hmm. fun. Uh, uh the co what happened? Um, we'll tell you when we get back to the cart. <laughs> oh, you're not back at the cart yet. No? Um, right. is the kobold a what? Somebody ordered bot merch. Cool. Oh, nice. Hi. What are you doing, handsome? Thanks for the merch purchase. Oh, yeah, I need to re redo this one. Okay. Oh, is it you? Muchly appreciated, Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> um. Nice day. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The kobold that initially saw the dead body, the vampire, oh, is he still there? Uh, yeah, he's kind of back on the wagon. Okay, I would like to go oh, back to him man. and tell him, Good job, it was a vampire! Oh. I would like to give you this dress. Oh. I didn't know I was a girl. I'm a kobold, I know these things. Oh, right. <laughs> I thought you've been with meat walkers too long. You don't, you couldn't tell anymore. No, they I still could, know. They give her notice and... You're welcome. You're very beautiful. Oh, <laughs> you are too. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> she okay. puts the dress on. <laughs> I can have more than three. Huh? Is it still scree? Uh, this is a different one. Okay. Um, I didn't catch your name. Mix. Mix. So, since Maddie bought hey, Mark, like uh, she gets to, so everyone gets a... Hold on. If Maddie, if someone buys Mark, they just get to succeed on a roll somewhere. Okay. Because that's a big Ooh, fucking cool. purchase. Okay, Maddie. Who, who do you want to have an auto-succeed? <laughs> Kiss, get to the here. You're not here. It's <laughs> a fuck you to everyone else. Kiss doesn't tend to, to have an issue with her successes. <laughs> you know what? Fuck all you. The person's not that's not here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell her. It's a classic Maddie. <laughs> tell kids. Like, so someone tried to give you like a an auto success and you weren't here. So Ark, you have one auto success success you can use on a uh, skill check whenever you want. Cool. Uh, keep track of that, because I will 100% forget. Well, this I still have inspiration. <laughs> like, do stack them up. <clears throat> I forgot when I, I forget when I got that inspiration too. It was for when you did a recap. Um, also, I think it was Raz and Haley that did the recap this time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, both of you get an inspiration. Sweet! I still have an inspiration from last time. Mm -hmm. it sucks for you. Yeah. Uh, you guys can go back to the wagon or just kind of hang out with Mix? Um, probably go back to the wagon to keep watch. I'll, I'll bring Mix along. But I'm supposed to be watching. Oh yeah, you stay here, you watch. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for your help. She's kind of just holding your hand. <laughs> uh, Karnas gives her a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, she, lizard person, <laughs> blushes and you guys get off and go away. Very cute. I never knew you had game, Karnas. Uh, yeah, I have tons of game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, when he got the all the kobolds, he had like four uh, brood brothers on him. So he was six, actually. I was six. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't know we were counting. <laughs> Karnas is a whore, is what I'm getting at. No, no, Karnas is a slut. Whores do it for money. <laughs> That's true. Let's do it for the love. Let's do it for the love of the game. The game. That's right. <laughs> Maddie, <laughs> y'all are so bad at hunting. It's a surprise y'all have any game at all. Wow. Hey -o. <laughs> Yeah, we have a tendency to ki to kill parents. God damn it! Be right back. You Sorry. You guys are making your own orphanage. <laughs> Which someone will then burn down. It'll be even more devastating when you burn down your own orphanage. For content! I just see how to log out when he leaves. They probably uh, made him join Discord for a raid strategy or something. Because he said he's raiding in the D&D. &D. Also, for, Brian, the camera is looking at your chest. Oh, it's because Evan left. It'll probably fix itself. <laughs> Yeah, because it still shows you partially. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Chesticles. Oh, I don't think it's... Show us your chesticles, Brian. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. For that. <laughs> I'm gonna make an OnlyFans it's just gonna be chest pics of Brian. Oh, so what are we gonna do with three of them, then? <laughs> I mean, one account. <laughs> Two? Two accounts. So anyway, day passes... <laughs> Next morning, um, at first light, before anyone else wakes up, you guys do hear another, Wah! 
I go towards the wall. It's coming from farther down this time. You go. Can't come up. What? No, in the bushes. I look towards the bushes. Uh, give me another perception. Okay. No, there. With advantage, because he's showing, trying to show you. Ooh, not 20. You can see another dead body. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, I'm gonna go get Damien again. You say, wait right here. Okay. Damien. Damien. Oh, no. What now? There's another dead body. Another one? Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Where? Um, I I lead Damien to the body. Part forty five. <laughs> Jesus. How bad's this body? Um, there is still as you guys approach on it, you see a dead cobalt. Oh no! Oh good. I think that was sarcasm. That's me. Come on, it's family. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's family. Family and everything to Cobalt. Family is Clan. Clan is best. Mm. Good for Clan, good for Cobalt. Yes. Um. There's no I in Cobalt. Only we. <laughs> all, all is sure. cobalt. Ah, all cobalt. <laughs> uh, Keep I, would, I, I would like to look at the body. Okay, give me a for what are you looking for? Cause of death? Looking it over? Investigation? Cause or? of death, I suppose. Medicine. See if there's any more bite marks. Um, you see bite marks, but it's like more of a giant chunk of flesh, as if it was like chewed on. Uh, a lot of blood loss in that area. I, uh, I pointed out to Damien. They got hungry. You think it's a zombie? Really hungry. We have to cut its head off. I don't think I can do that to another kobold. Can you do it? I don't think it's a zombie. I think it's another. I think it's still a vampire. Okay, can you do it? Yes, I can. It'd be bad for us for King Cobalt to behead other Cobalts. So, I'm because sorry, I do I have a stake, what would I use for? How would I actually use it? Just say that I'm using my stake, I guess. Uh, just make a uh, an attack with a dagger. We'll call it your stake. Okay. That's what I have for Haley. Well, she stabbed it with a stick, but it's close enough. Oh, sure. <laughs> I have a attack I'm fine on, apparently. Yeah, you plunge it right into where the uh, heart, you know, the heart to be. And there's a small twitch in the body as you plunge it in, but it just lets out its last breath. Maybe this one wasn't going to turn. As the uh, sun gets higher and starts to pour through the trees, some of the sunlight spots through and does catch the body as it turns to a uh, nest in front of you. Oh. Or maybe it had already turned. Okay. Does that mean there's vampires in this forest? Yep. That's probably exactly what that means. Well, if we travel during the day, we should be safe, right? Yeah, and I'd like to get out of this forest as soon as possible, especially knowing that. I, I turned to the kobold that spotted uh, the body. Sir! Is it Scree? Or is it a different one? Do you want it to be Scree? I don't know if you have a name. You're gonna have to come up with a lot of names. <laughs> My name's Zach. 
Zach. <laughs> Good work, Zach. Thank you. I'm I'm sorry you had to see this. This is very sad. He was my brother. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for the clan's loss. Me too. The clan grows weaker today. Yes, it does. You can like wipes away a tear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Karnas pats him and gives him a hug. And also starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> he just spurts and goes, <laughs> It just starts I'm falling. just gonna scoop them both up on the arm. <laughs> <laughs> where, are you, where are you going with the kobolds, Ark? Huh? Where are you heading with the kobolds? Back to the, the wagon, the right. train. Raz, you're awoken by two crying kobolds being <laughs> with a door getting kicked in and uh, you see Damien bring in two kobolds just bawling their eyes out. What, what did you do this time? I didn't do anything. They, we, we lost a clan member today. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I All thought right. I was heartless. <laughs> Damn, that's cold as fuck. And I thought I was heartless. <laughs> I'd also rather not stay another minute in this forest because we've had two vampire takings tonight. And I'd rather not know what else is hiding in this forest. Can, can we leave, please? Yeah. So how is this gonna work since Evan's off doing raid shit? Uh... We're just gonna pass on his roll. Okay. So, Mark, why don't you roll for a navigation? Or, Curtis, do you <laughs> want to drive the train? Um, Since the turtle's sleeping. Sleeping turtles. <clears throat> um, yeah, Carnus will try. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Is this a survival check or. Uh, or intelligence check. Intelligence check. You know what? My intelligence is higher than my survival, so it's fine. All right. Nineteen. Well, I'm, the fuck I'm using my inspiration. Inspiration is a reroll, or do you want to do the auto succeed? Reroll. Okay. Smart choice. It's not mm -hmm. a die roll. I thought so. Eighteen. Ooh, that's a good use of inspiration. Yes. And a nineteen from Garnus. I think that's the highest roll we've had for train driving. <laughs> so, Garnus, you just look up at the mast of just, like, levers and pulleys and buttons and just things, and you're like, oh. <laughs> As you just start pulling shit, these, you guys hear the engine turn on. Like, a large fire flumes behind you. Gives you a little startle. Uh, Damien's looking at the map trying to to compare and find out where you guys parked for the night. Um, and you pu eventually pull a lever and the whole train starts to move. Still not understanding the controls, you are... You can see slowly you approaching the back of the uh, wagon, train wagon, and you're going to ram into it, but you eventually find the steering wheel and just... Yank on it, and you turn at the last minute <laughs> to avoid hitting everyone. Oh, hell. Jesus I Christ. got this easy peasy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, and it's a smooth ride. For not, not being able to see from, like, standing, you gotta, like, kind of stand <laughs> on the console... And like drive. So, so like when driving real life. <laughs> you're like standing, like crouched over it, like with the wheel between your legs. And you're like what, 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 what. Um, but you do a great job driving. Um, you do such a good job driving. You are able to this train to a faster speed than what was normally done. And with Ark's navigation, you guys find a small shortcut, cutting off a day and a half. Hmm. Hey. 
Don't tell Elias this, but dream team. <laughs> uh, Shadow, what would you like to be doing while the train is driving? Huh? Just hanging out there, making sure we make sure things are going right. Going right now. Yeah, just make sure things aren't falling out with the rapid turning and. Okay, uh, give me an investigation. Let me find it. Because I still see my chest in the stream. 13. Um, as the train is moving along, you're kind of walking the uh, wagons, or the cars. Let's just call them cars at this point. Just fuck it. Uh, you do notice a couple of the hinges are getting loose, but could be repaired. How would you like to go about that? Uh. Just turn her off. No. Or Google. It thought we said its name, but we didn't, and it doesn't even work right now. It's a vision to, oh. to connect to the internet. <laughs> so, Raz. You see something that will be a problem, if not fixed. Uh, if I were to attempt to fix something, what would that be? Uh, well... You could either be dexterity or intelligence how, about how you want to go to it. How do you, how are you, how would you fix it? You like said it's coming, basically just coming loose, right? It's starting to come loose. Yeah, just kind of, well, I can, uh, investigate to see what the real problem is, right? Uh, like it's not, cu not coming off or something. Like, um, like a... Like some couple screws are popping out. Yeah. It's already missing oh, yeah, then... like it's starting to wiggle and if it falls off you'll lose everything behind it. You know what? Just because I'm feeling saucy. Let's get some dexterity. Okay. Nineteen. Nice. Oh <laughs> shit. See so you pop out some um... sorry, go for it. So yeah, no same thing, I just find find something to screw it back in. Okay. You screw it back in, and it's not quite holding. They feel like they've been stripped, potentially sabotaged, because it's not holding whatsoever. Mm -hmm. well, then it's not holding or stuff it's like that. For now. But yeah. The screws you're trying to put in are just, there's like no friction in them. You need to find an alternative use than just screwing something in. Yeah. Then I'll just, uh, head, head on back up to the others and let them know. Okay. So near yeah. the end of the journey for the day, you see Shadow Step come up to you. As you finish parking the, uh, you're still in the middle of the woods. You've, you're finding a very decent path with uh, Damien's pathfinding of just cutting through trees and avoiding everything. What a big ass lie. Um, but you do see Shadow Step coming towards you, looking a little worried. What's wrong, Shadow Step? Yeah, we're heading, heading up there. A couple of the, uh, the couplings are coming loose. Oh no, that's not good. I, I yeah, like, yeah, like the uh, screws are uh, uh, being, uh, stripping out. Are you sure? Yes. I tried fixing it, but it's a temporary fix. Is there a way we can fix it? We have to talk to Dunnan. He's unwakeable right now. I tried. I poked him. I hit his shell. Nothing worked. He's in a weird turtle hibernate of sleep. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, we'll have to talk to him later and make sure he stays awake more often. For now, we just have to try and fix it. Yep. Yeah. And 
pray that we don't actually break anything. I wonder if we have any tools in our in our cobalt stash. That might help. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I I'd like to look through our through the kobold collection, um, and see if there's I don't know any like extra screws or anything because kobolds collect shinies. Uh, give me an investigation <laughs> roll. It might be a stretch, but, you know. Investigation. 21. You find a lot of bolts and stuff, but you don't find screws. Okay. You feel like those are kind of machined by, uh, Dunnan. nuts, but that wasn't right. Bolts and nuts, stuff like that. Yeah. I didn't find any screws, though. I mean, if we have bolts and nuts, why can't we just use those? I don't know. I don't know how to fix this stuff. We may be stuck here for a few days. Well, shit! Saying it in that voice. <laughs> you guys don't have to wait for Dunnan to fix the train. No, I know we don't. We're that. not going to. Um, I just am unsure how to fix the train. There's a million ways to fix stuff. Yeah. I do. I I uh I call Scree over. Scree. Scree. What do you want? Uh, go ball. Sir. Do we? Have anyone that might know how to fix a wagon wheel that the screws came loose? Oh. Um. Yes. Okay. Help me find them. Is it you? No. Okay. Who is it? Um. Cree. Cree? <laughs> okay. Cree! <laughs> You hear about five kobolds go, what? Come here! Five kobolds run up to you. <laughs> sir! 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 Which one of you can help me fix this wagon wheel? They all start looking at the wheel and go, oh. Mm -hmm. We need these screws to be tighter. After a couple minutes, like, the wheel looks fine, sir. Okay. Can you tighten the screws? What are screws? I point to the screws. So you point to the coupling that holds the wagons together, and not the wheel. And they go, oh, that's not different. I thought the whole wheel, the screw on the wheel came loose. Um, <laughs> we could try melting metal inside to hold it together. Oh, or that's a good idea. make a brace for it. That's a good idea. What do you guys think? It's a good idea. Okay. Um. It'll it hold it, it should definitely hold it together. We'll need a fire hot enough to melt metal. <clears throat> Okay. Well, we have a lot of shinies. That's clan shinies. I know. That's, that's what you, just, you told us to trade. Yes. Sometimes we have to use shinies, shinies to fix things. Can we use the ore instead? Yes. Okay. I didn't know we had ore. You can cobalt. You should know. Nobody told me I'm new. <laughs> what? We're cobalt. We mine. That's what we do. Get, all right, let's melt down. It. We're melting down the ore. We don't need to use a lot. They don't look like they're too... The, the openings don't look like they're too large. No, oh, about two nuggets could do it. If this is the only thing wrong. Have you inspected all the other wagons? Shadow? 
Uh, yeah. Was this the only one? Oh. There's, there was one. There's that one. I think there's another one. Oh, where? I think, like the next one back or something like that. <clears throat> you will. You go and go find it. We'll we'll build a uh, fire to melt, or and it'll probably take a while to get that out of fire. We have to build a furnace. So he goes, "What? Cobalt? Furnace?" As a bunch of cobalts just like run and run to start digging to make get stones and stuff, and some go get collect wood. Um, you see, hear a bunch of wildlife just start running everywhere as cobalts just enter the forest. Um, so that's what they're going to be doing today. Is working on the forge to melt nuggets to fix the problem. What are you guys doing? Um, I'm going to help the kobolds build the furnace. Okay. Um, give me a performance check to build a furnace. Yep. Because, sure, why not? <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. You're able to do some of the heavy lifting for them and, like, put stuff higher than where they usually go. But you do, you're a great help. I definitely speed that up. Tarnish, Shadow? Um... Uh. How are we on food? Uh, f general food starting to get. You're back on your reserves. Okay. For once you first uh, compiled. Okay. So the reserves are about like 80%. I think it'll last you about two more days if you don't hunt. Okay. Um, Scarnus would like to take a small hunting party. Okay. And go. For some food. Okay. Shadow, what would you like to do? I was gonna uh, do the same thing and help out uh, gathering stuff for the uh, furnace. Okay. Uh, give me a performance check to help gather for the furnace. Fifteen. Okay. You're able to find some stones and help use your magic to like kind of cut them. So they fit better. You find a, some good wood. You're able to use part of your magic to like break down and move large chunks and dry logs. Uh, building the first is going on quite well. Curtis, how many kobolds do you want to take with you? Um, good wood. Uh, <laughs> maybe like five. Five? Okay. You got a hunting party of six. Yeah. What kind of, what are you looking for? Um. I don't know, maybe like a deer? Some deer, some elk? Yeah. A stag, maybe? Yeah. Sure. Give me a survival check to hunt. <clears throat> and you can have advantage because you have kobolds helping you. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you, you're looking around and you, you see one of the kobolds goes, Sir, tracks. Oh. As they ready their spears and weaponry. You slowly hunt it to uh, the edge of some brush where you can see in a small glade a large uh, horned stag is grazing. Okay. I, uh... I'm not going to use the thing stick here. <laughs> I shoot it with my gun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I ready my firebolt pan trip. It's like my hands start glowing. Okay. <laughs> cool. um, what do you want the others to do? 
I, I tell them to take aim. So they start, like, rooting up their spears. Mm-hmm. Okay, on you. Okay, ready, set. What? Set. Fire. Where? Shoot it. Oh, and they throw. Okay, and I cast fire. Uh, so roll attacks, and then we'll do initiative. Okay. Okay, so firebolt. And then roll me fire. Five D twenties. Okay. Plus Three of them hit. Okay. So roll me 3d6 plus 9. 24. 24. And you hit for 10. Okay. Uh... The stag is definitely startled. Its white coat is becoming smeared with blood. And it look, nearly snaps its head to look at you as it starts to bound into the forest. Like, at a, you're staring at it, and it just darts. If you're staring north, it darts like west. Okay. Uh, so, roll initiative. Okay. And then just roll one for your kobolds. That's me. And that's kobolds. Alright, kobolds go first. What would you like them to do? Um, do they only have spears or do they have like... They had one spear. Oh. Do they have arrows? No. Um... I yell. Uh, I, I don't yell. Tree sex tag! And, and and start running after it. Okay. And make sure that they're following. Well, it's their turn first. Right. So they book it towards the stag. Yeah. And they are about five feet behind it. Perfect. The stag is... Well, sorry. The stag would now go, and now it's starting to book it. Okay. Uh, but the kobolds are right behind it. Your turn. Okay. Um, I also chase the stag. Okay. Full movement or just uh, a move, one move action? Um, Sorry, do you want a double move or single move? So my walking speed is 30. Okay. So if I do single move, okay. well, how will I get... You'd get, like, within 35 feet of it. Okay. Uh, double move, I guess, then. Okay. So you're just about five feet from it. Okay. Well, you're up with the other kobolds as it runs away. And I tell the other kobolds to jump on it. Okay, roll me athletics. Roll me 5d20. And then we'll add two, three, what's the kobolds to? Look who figured it out. So give me 5d20. Just 5d20? 5d20. So that's 18, 11, 13, 13, 8. So three of them jump on the back of the stag. Okay. You can see them like bounding back and forth as they're just holding on for dear life as it's sprinting. <clears throat> um, it is now, the stag now runs into the brush at the tree line trying to knock uh, the kobolds off with little hanging branches. Okay. You're up. Okay. I, I shout, ATTACK IT! And then, um, I, can I see it? Uh, it just entered the trees, so you still have some visibility on it. 
Okay, I'd like to get closer to it. Okay. Um, can I get within melee distance? Uh, it runs faster than you, so no. Okay. Uh, I shout for the kobolds. Duck! And then... See one for Papa? Go, where? <laughs> Put your heads down! What? I'm gonna cast a spell! Twenty-six. With a natural twenty. Um, that is enough to kill the stag. Okay. So your firebolt just arcs into the uh, tree branch just as it goes out of sight. You then see, like, the darkness just illuminated by a burst of fire. And the... <laughs> as the stag just kind of dies and falls over. As three kobolds go... Ah! As they fall off. Okay. You and the other two kobolds that didn't get on rush towards your uh, kill. Okay. <clears throat> now let's butcher it and take it back to the carts. Okay. Give me, uh, what was it saying? Dexterity or strength? Dexterity. Give me dexterity for, uh, butchery. Uh, or do you want to just drag work. the whole thing over? That worked. Oh, thanks. It's not a check. Oh. Oh, it is a check. Sorry. I was thinking save. I don't know why I said that. Um, I suppose we could just drag the whole thing. Okay. So, with the strength of six kobolds, I'm sure you guys can just bring it back to camp. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, a couple of the kobolds are fascinated by the size of the antlers. Go ahead. Oh, King Kobold. Yes. Could make a nice crown. Oh, yes. Um, have you a throne yet? I need a new throne. Yeah, you kind of left it behind. Yeah. We needed to make sure there was room for everyone. True. That's King. Kind of on about himself. Not Glenn. You try and help Glenn. Yes. We appreciate it. The needs of the clan outweigh the needs of the me. Ah, that's what we decided. Yeah. Um, as you guys approach the camp, you do see Ark and Damien. Er. <laughs> Damien and Raz, fuck! Damien and Shadow <laughs> finishing a uh, forge and the fire underneath is burning and it seems quite hot. They That's have a small uh, crucible where they're starting to smelt the ore. You see Scree come up and he goes, it'll be ready in when the sun gets to those trees. Perfect! Thank you, Scree! Of course. You see, uh, the goblin. Goblin, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> the kobold that you met last night in the dress. And she kind of, like, gives you a wink. Oh, you look very nice in that dress. <laughs> she just kind of turns and leaves. Wait, come back! <laughs> you hear a giggle. Kind of follows. <laughs> Um, what would you guys like to do? Arc Raz? Uh... I mean, I'm fine pulling out my dragon chest- my dragon chest that I'm trying to get- trying to beat Shadow's ass in it. Okay. Shadow, do you want to play dragon chest? Sure. <laughs> Uh, as you're playing, a couple of kobolds kind of are just circling around you. You go, what's this? It's chess. What's chess? It's a game. Oh. What do you get? It's no abstraction that I beat his ass. Oh. <laughs> it's like shinies for the heart. Basically. Sure. Who's winning? Uh, how how would we do that? Luck. luck? <laughs> D20 plus Charisma Dex, right? Yes. <laughs> Maddie, if you get Shinies for the Heart tattooed, I will always give you advantage on shit. <laughs> 26. 
Damn. The fuck? Natural 20. Wow. Wait, no. Yeah. I, yeah. Natural 20. Yeah, it was uh, charisma plus dexterity, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Why the fuck are we getting a nat 20 on something bullshit like this? Because that's the way D&D works. For me, anyway. You succeed on the stupid stuff. Ooh. It's a close game, but uh, Damien just pulls a sneaky little maneuver that uh, Shadow did not see coming. And puts you in check. A couple of balls wrangle. Ha! As they start exchanging Chinese over the outcome of the game. <laughs> like, damn it. What, Rez? <laughs> it's like, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> These just start chanting. I believe that's checkmate. Alright, good game. That was good. You hear one of the kobolds go, God damn it! <laughs> and like hand over a bag of <laughs> shiny rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Um, Curtis. Yep. You follow her? Yeah. I already forgot her Nix. name. Nix. 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 God damn it. I was like, I'm putting out so many names, I hope you write them down. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say her name before I had to ask, but you did not. I was like, you bitch. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. You bitch. <laughs> Ark, did, I, did Haley tell you that that's my text tone for her now? From when you've been he through did. Her. I saw that. I, I saw Thank that. You, from that, uh, that I saw that Discord message. <laughs> it, it, so I play music from my phone on this on a Bluetooth speaker all day at work today, and I also have an app on my phone that turns this light on and off. And so I was like, I was like, I wonder if this works from here. And I clicked it on and off. And I was like, well, the, the on the phone it says it's off. And then Haley, I just hear you. Bitch! And Haley's like, did you do that? <laughs> and my coworkers were like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, I can mess with my wife from home. Or from work. That's pretty funny. I, like, I love this. I love that I have this stupid amount of power. <laughs> lights on, lights off. And there's nothing she can do about it. And it was like right as I had walked into the room that they went off for a second. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> well, it is seven. It's about when Brian gets to work. <laughs> Probably him. Um, yeah, you follow Mix into one of the wagons. And she goes, all you get out! <laughs> and it's like 40 kobolds just kind of leave and kind of ah. saunter into the courtyard. She goes, so, you got kobold queen? No. Do you want to be my kobold queen? Yes. In her deep, gravelly voice. <laughs> she pulls, she puts her hand out and goes, Uh. <laughs> I rummage in my bag for a ring. <laughs> Do you have a ring in your, in, in your equipment? <laughs> Man, Cardus is quick to marry, holy shit. <laughs> um... No, but he has a bunch of gems. Yeah, give her shinies would be a good wedding uh, proposal gift. Okay. Pull out some gems. What kind of gems you pull out? Uh. Describe to me your proposal gems. <laughs> um, well, they're shiny. Oh. And some are blue. Arlet. <laughs> Some are blue, some are red, some are green. They're small. I've got a handful of them. Um, she is a yellow scaled cobalt, by the way. Oh, it's good to know. I, I also have um, some yellow ones. They're like, look, this one matches you. She goes, no. And she only takes the red ones. She goes, they look like you. Ah! Remind me of you. This one reminds me of you. Oh! <laughs> and she's just gonna tackle you and we'll move on from fade there. Fade to black! <laughs> just fade to black, but no one go in that carriage. <laughs> when the carriage is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Rez, you hear some noise coming from a carriage. <laughs> a 
And no. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> this should be the time Evan comes back. And I was like, Evan, there's a wreck is coming from a cat carriage. Yes, oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> um, hours pass. Carnus finally emerges. And the uh, Scree comes up to Damien and Raz. Shadow. <gasps> I'm so bad with names today. <laughs> God. Um, he goes, okay, it's ready. Which wagon? Which wagon, Shadow? I think it was a... I think we, I think we determined it was a second and third. Okay. As you lead him over to the wagon, he kind of, they have built a little, like, reservoir for spare, like, metal. So it's going to kind of, like, just lock the whole thing in and just wait for it to cool and solidify. So they pour the hot metal, it starts to burn some of the wood around, but it does eventually just go in, and they seem pretty satisfied with it. You go, hooray! We did it. Now hopefully like it's this holds... Until we get major repairs done. Are you sure there's nothing else wrong with any other wagons? No, I don't believe so. Okay. As far as I'm aware, no. We're camped for the night. Okay. So it'll have an, uh, it'll have a night to cool, and then yeah. we'll. Don't want to mess with it right now. Exactly. Scree. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you and Cree. Cree? Was that? Cree and Cree, yep. Cree. I'm gonna have you and Cree keep an eye on those two wagons. Okay. Actually, if I'm you can spread the word... If you can spread the word to each of the wagons that someone needs to keep an eye on the coupling. No. But we're supposed to watch this one? One from each... A cobalt from each wagon needs to watch yes, the couplings. Sir. Will do. Hey! Mmm, sorry. Long nap. Yeah, clearly. Uh, Evan, yeah, you finally emerge into mm. the courtyard as there are kobolds pouring liquid uh, metals onto part of the couplings on the wagons. You see yeah, Evan, we had a... down the road just be weirdly making a commotion. Yeah, Evan, we had a couple, when we were traveling, I, I did a quick survey, just, you know, traveling down, and I saw a couple of the couplings were uh, coming loose from the uh, mounts. Oh, yeah. I, hmm, I'll get on that right away. So we had, so we had, so we, uh, got, got some, you know, rallied up some kobolds and got a uh, furnace going. Ah, no, it's so there. Don't worry about it. As you just see, like, a mound of molten metal just poured into where the coupling was. You've got a picture oh. now. Uh, yes, but it might cause other problems later. However, um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'll fix it tomorrow night. For the, in the moment, let's get going. Right. Where's Carnus? I don't know. Um, you do hear a commotion coming from one of the wagons. You want to check that out, Dunnan? <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I make my way over to the commotion. There's a bunch of kobolds looking upset outside. It's like, oh, they're in there. Who's in there? Garnus, Nix. I see. I look in the wagon. You just see two kobolds just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that's how they did it, and they're in really strange but... positions, but you're like, that's kind of impressive what they're doing. Uh, Haley, roll me a well... performance. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have an audience. <laughs> uh, well... That'll justify adding a rank of oh. knowledge nature. <laughs> she also rolled a six. Oh, 
you're fairly certain they're doing it wrong, but they look <laughs> both determined to have a good time. Mm. <sighs> All right. <laughs> um. Hmm. I uh, turn to one of the other kobolds and say, uh, "When they are done, could uh, you have Karnas meet me up at the front wagon?" I can give him a message. They've been in there for mm -hmm. a while. All right, <laughs> give them fifteen more minutes, and if they're still in there, interrupt them and tell them that I need Karnas up. <laughs> What's a minutes? Uh, Should I go find them? What time? Huh? What no, minutes? minutes is not a person. Oh. Uh, do you have a coin on you? Yes. Great. Flip it 600 times, and then interrupt them. One, two, three. He drops it. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. No longer my problem. I get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the others are counting with him as well, but not all of them are counting at the same time. So it'll be one, one, two, two, three, four, five, one, uh. two, three, two, four, <laughs> seven, three. <laughs> They're like, oh, fuck. They drop it. One of them goes, eight. <laughs> the other one starts at one again. So it's just a bunch of kobolds chanting numbers. <laughs> Eventually they get to 600. <laughs> I go up and then I tell the others that um, Karnas is currently indisposed. Nope. The fuck he is. No, <laughs> actually, that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I'm going to go interrupt him. <laughs> you are far braver than I. <laughs> look, just because I'm going to interrupt him doesn't mean I actually have to look. I was caught unawares. Yeah. I can sense the threat of vampires in the woods, but I can't sense two people going at it in a wagon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My sensei never taught me that. <laughs> Master Hawker, you never taught me how to fuck. <laughs> the hell, man? No, no, no. <laughs> Not how to fuck. I don't know people are fucking. <laughs> Right, for fuck's well, sense. For fuck's sense. I can catch an arrow from the air, but I can't tell that people are boning in the next thing without seeing it for myself. <laughs> right. I just go up and bang on the on the wagon. Karnas, come on. Just a minute. <laughs> I feel like you've been saying that for the last fifteen minutes. <laughs> You hear, what's a minute? <laughs> I'm a little busy at the moment. I'll give you 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Curtis, we need you up front. You hear now. some rolling and a thunk from inside the carriage. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> what, do you want to go outside again? I said, I'm sorry. He's not gonna leave me alone. I, gotta, I guess I gotta go. No. Come no. Back. I will come back. Spend your time with your queen. I will. I have to go do kingly stuff first. Uh. I know this sucks. Can I come with you? Yes. All right. Okay. I'm coming, Damien. I don't need to do that. <laughs> That's what we were doing. <laughs> Wait, was it same-sex cobalt sex or opposite-sex cobalt sex? Because it's tough to tell because uh, Brian does the same voice regardless of the gender. <laughs> they of the all game. have the same voice. <laughs> <laughs> they all sound the same regardless of gender. That's so. Like Carnus is just the hey! weird one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the weird DSG. Woo! Super funny, right? Yeah, woo, woo, woo. Even the winter dogs upstairs are excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Boople. Awesome. Hope your stream went well. What did you play? <clears throat> I think the 
it's a de- I think it's not destiny. Yeah. Out of there. So you follow Damien. Yep. As you open up the door, Damien, you're just hit with a waft of just a strange odor. (laughs) 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 Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna go back up front. It smells a lot like calcium, but you don't know why. (laughs) It sounds sounds like like what now? (laughs) Like calcium? Not calcium. Wagon wagon full of cold ball sweat. Here, I let you outside a second ago. You're a monster. That's no way to talk to Karnas. <laughs> Will you call him a monster? Didn't even come in when I opened the door. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess. Fuck you. Yeah, you lay down, dick. <laughs> He's just woofing at me now from outside. So, you eventually start following Damien? Yep. Okay. What'd you want, Damien? Dunna need you. Yeah, that's so important. I thought we were get we needed to get going. Well, I thought the metal had to dry. Harden. It does. I'm fairly sure the cars would say dry. <laughs> <laughs> metal Metal doesn't dry, it hardens. <laughs> Dunnan, you also realize that yeah, as you're looking around, you're in a completely different spot than when you went to sleep. How long have I been asleep? Twelve a years! Day and a half. Oh. Mm. My apologies. I guess previ- the two nights ago took a lot more out of me than I expected. Clearly. Uh, we should get moving if we can. Fortunately, we can't because the metal has, has to cool. It's also nighttime. It just. It oh, is also. There's vampires out there. Uh, oh, vampires. then why did you have me go get Carnus? You were the one who had me get Carnus. I said go check out what the ruckus was. I didn't say go get Carnus. Oh well, the cu- ruckus was Carnus. Yeah. Now that we're all yeah, on the same was. page. Uh, it was a good ruckus. Oh. No, don't even know the right. So, if the if the metal is still is still hot, because they just poured molten metal on it, then mm-hmm. I'm just gonna spend the night fixing what they did. <laughs> okay. To... Uh, give me a tinker's check. Sure. It's intelligence with proficiency, I think. Is what don't break it more. Yeah. It's. I don't know how to. Uh, I, I'll roll my proficiency and then add my intelligence bonus. That's what you want. Sure. Whichever works. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right. So. Okay. Uh, where's the? Or just so roll here's. Roll twenty and add those things. All right. So. <laughs> oh, so man. that's my intelligence roll and then my prof- well, uh, It's not including my proficiency. So my proficiency makes it a nine. Okay. Yeah. You have a plus five and if you play. Do I have? It. Yes, I will take the plus five to make uh, it a total of 14. Do you have 14. inspiration on your character sheet? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me look at the thing. Do, do, last we checked, I have one, so I'll use it. All right. <laughs> Give me that reroll. All right. Do, 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 do. There we go. So it's 18 plus 4, 22. Plus, if you said plus 5, then that's 27. 27. You were able to yeah. shape and mold all the uh, molten metal that they they just poured in to something where it'd actually be useful instead of just a quick fix. Gotcha. A quick, weird, permanent fix that's not quite as helpful as if someone was actually tinkering with it. Well, that is the artificer life. Sometimes necessity is the mother of invention. <clears throat> uh, but you are quite happy with it just as the metal finishes is about to be done cooling it's shit moldable you like finish you step back you're like I'm happy with it like it's almost perfect but I'm happy with it anyone else want to do anything before the end of the night? 
I'm not. I'm good. Uh, Squee comes up to you and goes, Sir, what yes. are we doing? Um, caravan guard again? Yes. Okay, I go past the note to Cobalt. Sounds good. As you guys hop in your front luxury car, you see a bunch of other Cobalts just kind of hop up on top of their cars and start taking post. Okay. <clears throat> Karnas will help as well with the watch. Okay. Um, give me a just roll perception for your watch. Seventeen. Uh, throughout the watch, you don't see anything on your side, but you do hear a couple. Wah! Hey, hey, go towards the wall. Uh, there were three. Okay. I start with the one closest. To me. Okay. He goes, sir. Yes. Um. There's. I just turned. I was talking to Cobalt, and I turned back, and there's a streak of blood. <gasps> leading into bushes. Oh no. I'll get Damien. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stay here. Okay. <laughs> Monster hunters really coming into handy for him, apparently. <laughs> Uh, you still hear a couple. Wah! Wah! Okay, Damien. I need you yeah. to go talk to the. Um, did you say it was Scree? Uh, Scree gave the word to all the other kobolds. Okay, I I point to the kobold that I'd just been talking to about the blood. You heard us. Uh, you heard a what from car five, fifteen, and thirty-seven. What was the one? That, first one. Five. I okay, Damien. I need you to go to car five. He found a streak of blood. Going into some bushes. I need to go see what the other kobolds need. Oh, good. Okay. I'm on it. And I go to 15? Yep. As you go to 15, you see a kobold. She goes, um, I heard I was inside. And I heard some walking on top of carriage. And I go up, and there's no kobold. Oh. He didn't come back inside. Was he on a different carriage? No. Was it me? No. That's weird. Uh. Sit on top of the carriage. And let me know if anything else happens. Okay. Okay. I believe in you. Can I have to go home? Yes. Okay. She kind of looks over and like kind of knocks on the carriage and then one comes up. Okay. You two sit on top of the carriage and... Keep watch. Will you, will you be dead? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then what was the other one? 37? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you go up to 37 and he goes, Sir. Yes. Um. Hello. Hello. Um. I have bad news. What? Uh, hey. He points to the bushes and he goes, I find Cobalt. Again? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Uh, is it dead? I don't want to go. Okay. I'll go with you, but I don't want to go alone. Okay. I've seen too many plagues. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Go home, let die first. Yeah. Uh, I quietly go towards, uh... You can stop roll. Okay. Damien. You approach card five. He goes, Oh, thank you, you come. Yeah. Um, oh, no. I find blood. Where? He points it out on the ground and goes, It leads into bushes. I don't want to go. Oh. Scary. Stay here. Okay. Can do. I'm going to move quietly towards the bushes. Are you sneaking or just moving quietly? Uh, I'll sneak. Okay, give me a stealth roll. I hope you roll better than I did. Curtis, you hop off the cart and immediately face blind. <laughs> you see the other couple just kind of take like a, just hold on and just go whoop on the, down the side. Like just slide down like a fireman pole. He goes, oh, that's my favorite part. What, what'd you do? I jumped. Oh. Bang! kind of helps you up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> he gets a spear in hand and starts moving towards the bush. <clears throat> God damn it. Okay. I am Brian now. I'm back. Put your camera back. Fuck. It kicked me out because I wasn't talking enough. <laughs> um, you see the bodies of three dead kobolds <gasps> that have just been gnawed on. Oh no. A blue, a green, and a yellow. Is it, does the yellow one, does the yellow one mix? No. Okay. Oh, this bad. This very bad. Yeah. What's going on? I think there's vampires. Vampires? Yeah. Vampires? Yeah. Like Among Us? I don't think so. Is there an imposter? I don't know. <laughs> don't wait. I don't think so. Sir, how many nights has this happened? Uh, two? Uh, just not good. No, very bad. Um, and nobody's catching it! I, I found body. Yes, that is good. You do good. Thank you. Uh, Art. Yes. As you creep along, like, hugging out on the trees, you move silently. You do come across the body of a dead tiefling. That's new. That's Wrapped unpleasant. in, uh, looks like nobleman clothes. Like, very fine threads. But, like, their face is just torn off. That's even more unsettling. And what the fuck is a nobleman doing this far out? Since what is their noble since what are tieflings and since what is their tiefling nobility? I guess is a better question. Actually they're both questions. What the fuck? Are you talking to yourself? Or is there <laughs> someone else there? Um It's your yes. worried. Okay. Yes. Yes to both? <laughs> yes to both. Um, should I be worried? Yes. Okay, and who's there? A dead tiefling. A dead noble tiefling. Whoa. Does he have any kind of distinguishing marks? Uh. Or she? They? Their horn. It's a. It's a male. His horns are very um. Prominent and like, have been kept very nice. As if they're like the pride of, is the pride feature. They have little like golden uh, tip ends. Kind of spiraled a bit. But you think it looks like artificially <laughs> kind of twisted to give it a little more flair. Um, but no one that you would recognize. Does he have any kind of distinguishing jewelry or anything? He does have a ruby necklace and a silver chain. But nothing that would distinguish it as being any kind of nobility? Uh, or specific nobility? Okay. 24! Oh. You do see some etchings on the back of it that might be a house symbol or a clan symbol, but it's nothing that you've rec that you recognize in your years of traveling. Okay. I'm gonna stake him. Just on the safe side. You gonna take it? Stake him. Stake and him. also take him. Uh, roll me an uh, attack for staking. Okie doke. Okay. 
Just put some butter on the pan. What? <laughs> Wrong kind of steak. Mm, 21, I think is what I saw. Nice. Yeah. You're able to plunge it directly into the heart. Uh, no reaction, just the wet, wet thump. Okay. You feel the body decompress a little bit. Like it just lose, loses tension. So whatever killed this one didn't kill isn't a vampire. Or they decide not to turn him. Great. I just head back towards the carriages. Okay. As you head back towards the carriage, you hear the cobalt on top of cart uh, five go, <laughs> What? Sir! Behind you! What? As you turn to look behind you, there's a standing uh, Goliath just towers over you. Oh, good. And we will end it there for the night. Ooh. You fuck! <laughs> Cliffhanger! Or Fanghanger. <laughs> I like to point out that they all, all the Cobalt sound the same to you guys. To Karnas, they all have different like voices and personalities. And <laughs> so we're all racist. You guys are right. being racist. <laughs> you don't understand racist. this culture. 